Hello, hi, welcome to another tutorial of ETAPS 2015. In this tutorial, we will learn about X bracings and off diagonal bracings and other different types of bracing. How can uh, we apply to the steel structure uh, around the building? So, we already have a structure with us. If you have not seen how to uh, create a steel structure and how to make it safe uh, due to dead load and live load and how to apply the loads according to the Indian standard codes and how to take the sections then you should go and watch the ETAPS tutorial of tutorial 8 episode 8 we have made with part 1 and part 2 that two episodes uh, you can watch it so so that you can know how I have created this building those two uh, videos links I have uh, kept in the description below and uh, for the bracings let us start today's video of tutorial if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe for more upcoming videos like this and do press on the bell icon to have a notification whenever I place a video on the channel so let's start First we need to know about the what are the bracings or lateral systems. So for that you have to follow a um, book called Tall Buildings by B.S. Taranath and that book is available with me and I, I will also give a link in the description for this book and this book uh, if you go to page number 236 and page number if you go to page number 233 then you will find the braced systems in this uh, you will find that for 30 stories above 30 stories buildings if you are uh, going to design the building then you need to pro provide bracing systems because uh, it uh, increases the shear component uh, uh, due to that deflection happens in the column and column tends to bending so for that uh, different types of uh, bracings can be applied uh, to the building that is K and X brace systems between the two two columns can be applied uh, to the structure so this is a this is an inverted K type of bracing in a double angle connections so another types of bracings here are given in the page number 236 uh, of uh, a B C D different this is X type of bracing this is K type of bracing you can see so this kind of a bracing system we can uh, also create in ETAPS 2015 using our software and we, we are going to use Indian standard codes we have already designed uh, the building which which we have taken in the mm, current tutorial so we have designed that in the previous tutorial as I already said and uh, those links are in the below in the description so these are the off diagonal bracings and these are the X bracings these are the angle bracings and uh, moreover these are M and K bracings so inverted V and V shape bracings are also present in this diagrams you can see all these we can create by one or the other method in the ETAPS 2015 so first what we need to do is we need to create first we need to create the bracing section by going to define menu section properties frame sections in this we already have defined the auto beam and auto column and the composite uh, uh, beam sections and we have uh, selected all the Indian standard steel code uh, steel sections from the steel table and now we are going to add a new property
auto select from the auto select list we will provide it, uh, it as auto select only it will be of steel and I will name it as auto brace so for bracing I am taking it as auto brace and uh, I will keep it in the auto select list all the members which I have uh, taken from the steel table from ISHB to ISWB and click on add so that it can be added to the auto select list now press on OK and here you can see the auto brace is selected here so this property has been created now press on OK so the whole building act as a cantilever in the in case of this lateral bracing system so this should be continuous with the fixed joints so you can see our structure is now pin jointed and we have to get it fixed so go to the ground floor from the story 6 now we are in the story 6 we have to go to ground floor by pressing the up arrow you can go to ground floor then select all the joints now go to assign joint restraints you will find that here four types of joints has been there fast restraints this is the first one is the fi nothing but fixed by clicking on this all the things will get fixed you can apply this and press on ok now our columns or the building foundations got fixed now for applying the bracing you should have the similar stories activate here in the right bottom corner and then go to the elevation view set elevation view at any one of the grid and apply now we are going to apply the braces here for drawing the braces you could directly click on the quick draw braces here or you can go to draw menu and draw beam and column and go to the quick draw braces here you see that here the braces selected is what we have taken as auto brace with first we are going to take the x bracings on this side by clicking on any of the top or the bottom you can see that it is showing x how it is going to be placed in this to the structure so we will be taking at the corners if you click on any one of the boxes it will be taking the whole structure because we have selected here the slim similar stories so the all the stories will get the x bracings by clicking at one box only we will get all the stories at the same section at the same grid between two columns we will get all the bracings done by one click itself by clicking on the other side you will get the other side x bracings now we are in the a grid now now we will go to the last grid by selecting the again elevation and going to the G grid and here we will click on this and this between 1 and 2 and 4 and 5 we have applied the X bracings here you can see that the moment releases is getting changed to pinned because 
The whole structure is acting as a cantilever, but the bracing itself will act as a pin only because we have selected the X bracings and this will be pinned obviously. So next we will select a V shape. Let us see it will get changed or not. It is not changing because the all the bracings will be there in pinned jointed only. We can't change it to continuous. So it will be pinned itself. Now we will go to the elevation view. In the one direction, one grid direction. Now here in this Like this you can place the V-shape. Also place on the other side. The pin joint will be created automatically at the bottom due to its inherent property. Now we will place an inverted V. Similarly in the other direction. Now we will see what is eccentric backwards. At this side. And again eccentric forward. At this side. Similarly in the other way. Eccentric forward such that this and this corner got match and eccentric backward this side. Such that this and this corner get matched. Now we will go in the A section. So now we are going to draw the off diagonal bracings. So in this off diagonal bracing you have to go to the draw menu and the quick draw beam bracing here. Here you can select auto brace with pinned. Or you can directly provide whatever length you required here. Similarly, in the other direction you can provide.
like this similarly on the other direction other direction by selecting these two Now we are in the A grid. We have to replicate this in the G grid. So go to the edit menu. Replicate option. Go to pick two points in the model. Select point on grid 1 and another point at green G press on apply press on OK now you will see that by going to the 3D menu on the other side also this has been created See ya. So now our building is full of bracings in all the direction and all type of bracings we have applied to the building. So this building can be analyzed and designed by using the response spectrum method, time history analysis method and designed using IS code. So we can do all that things um, by similar procedure of as we did in the concrete building before in our tutorials so this was the end of this tutorial how to place the different types of bracings in the steel structure so with this we will end up this tutorial do like subscribe and share this video with your friends and other engineers thank you so much for staying with me bye bye